dejected, sad, um, lonely, fucking, <laughs> you name it, I'm fucking feeling it. Because Jesus Christ. Again, another draw, a fifth draw in a row against this horrid side that is Manchester United. Deserved draw, perhaps. A deserved win for us, probably not. The way we play, just not great. Um, a bit of a different one today. I can't be asked with giving players certain ratings. I'm just going to give you my my feeling of, of how I thought today went. Um, even with the sofa score and ratings from like who scored and, 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 and you know, foot mob and all that sort of stuff. They're giving the likes of Aspil Equator a low rating, which again, I feel is harsh, really harsh. Um, our lowest rated player today, our lowest rated player today. And realistically, I, I, and again, Loftus Cheek are, are, was rated lower than Jorginho. And I don't know if that's whether or not he's because, because he scored the penalty or not, but fucking hell. We were so close, and I sang 10 men went to Mo from 1 to 10. And then as I finished, they scored. And I fell off my chair. The, the clip for that, no doubt, will be out at some point in the future on the channel. But fuck. I just can't, I just can't scrub this one. I just can't get over this one because it's, it's a little bit different from the other ones. They were always a little bit tight. This one was tight as well in terms of the actual gameplay and the, the, the play as well. And we got dominated for the most part. We really did. What was the, the possession as well? It's like, well, it's fairly equal. 53% to uh, our 47%. They had 13 shots to our, uh, and six on target to our six shots. Two on target. And I, I feel I, I could be correct in saying that the penalty doesn't even count towards a shot on target. I'm fairly sure that is correct. But anything I say, just take it with a pinch of salt in this in this ratings. Because, uh, again, I won't be giving particular ratings on players. Just standout performances. Um... Mount, I feel, I'm just going to go straight into Mount. I feel like he didn't really have anything to go off today. Again, we played such a defensive line today. We, we, we uh, 35 minutes gone. We did a poll in the stream and we said, like, would you bring Jorginho off? Because at, at the time he was playing really, really, you know, just not, not fantastic. Um, and uh, there was an overwhelming result. 83% or something like that said that Jorginho should come off for Kovacic at half time and 35 minutes gone. Kukurea comes off and many people are, you know, argue, you know, saying that Kukurea didn't have a great game. It's, I didn't think he was playing that bad. And again, you know, he, he's technically on the on the left hand side when he's in that Chilwell role. He is an attacking player. And it, what do you expect from Kukurea when he's playing in a centre back position in, in, the, in, the, in the back three? We then moved to a back four. Everything seemed to open up. Everything seemed to go in our favour in those last 10 minutes. Well, maybe in the five minutes, but not even a full 10 minutes. I'm all over the place. I really am dejected. Really, really dejected. I, I feel like we were there. I feel like we'd got away with one. Anthony had a fantastic chance in the first, um, you know, the last seconds of the first half where he probably should have scored. Kepa, you know... <sighs> Before we get on to Kepa, first of all, if you think Kepa actually lost us the game, sh just fuck off. <laughs> just shut up. Um, Kepa saved us in this game. And everyone's saying, well, if Mendy's in goal, we wouldn't have lost. If Mendy was in goal in the form that he was in before he got injured, we would have been down about 4-0 at one point. Um, Kepa saved us to, uh, in the game. He was the man of the match. For our side, at least, I think they've given Casemiro the man of the match because he he, he scored the winning goal or, or the the equalising goal. But oh, just just fury, just anger, such just disappointment in six minutes of added time as well. Where did that come from? I I can't quite remember how long it took for the penalty to, to you know to happen. Um. I feel I feel like we've been a bit hard done by, but I feel like a draw once again, five draws in a row now against Manchester United in in the Premier League. <sighs> Probably a fair result in the scheme of things. They definitely were the better team on the day. Um, 
it's just it's again one of those things where you know two draws in a row we've we've now lost our clean sheet record and if if anyone you know see my preview video i said like the the clean sheets not the priority in this game but if it was an entertaining game, I wouldn't have minded if we lost our clean sheet record, but it wasn't an entertaining game. It was shite. It was absolutely poor. Probably the worst performance under a Graham Potter side that we've seen since he's been in charge, and we still didn't lose. That's one of the positives that I can come out of this and say that we we still somehow came out with a result and um, yeah, just... I mean, I might as well move to the main screen because, um, you know, it is what it is. And as you can see, um, what have we come out with? We've got 21 points. We're now two points behind Spurs. Both of us and Manchester United had a chance to close the gap on them. Thank God we are now still in fourth place. But it's just so... I, I woke up this morning thinking, Christ, this is a big game. It was the biggest game of the season so far in all competitions. And I know we played AC Milan home and away and beaten them. But this game, my childhood, I'm sure a lot of you, you know, growing up, especially recently, if you're young, you, 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 this is all you've ever known is that Manchester United and Chelsea, the rivalries, we played a Champions League final against them. And even then it's gone to the death. It's gone to penalties. We are chronic. It is the most drawn fixture in Premier League history. I think now it was 25. It's now 26 in the history of the Premier League. We have drawn against them more than any other tie in the history of the Premier League. Any other fixture. Chelsea, Manchester United, 26 draws in total. It is such a tough game to win. Five games now drawn against them. And um, I'm not even going to bother picking people out because it's hard to tell. The The front three really couldn't get going um, because we were playing so defensively. Uh, Manchester United seemed like they were playing so attackingly. It really was hard to, you know, for the likes of Mount, people are saying, like, what's Mount done today? Fuck off. When, what was he supposed to do with, like, the booting up of the field? He had a Sancho fouling as Equator or Luke Shaw, rather, fouling as Equator, not getting booked, like, the three times he did that whenever Equator tried to take a quick throw. Um, you got Chilwell providing the, one of the main chances of the game. He had Chilwell, just a beautiful, beautiful, almost mimicked uh, cross of the ball, like as Phil Equator did to Alvaro Morata back in 2017, the last time we beat them, that was at Stamford Bridge, but in all competition, well, not in all competition, but in the Premier League. And um, for some reason, as uh, Aubameyang thought that, you know, I'll just try and take this down from the penalty spot. Like, why? Head the ball! Head it! But apart from that, the front three, I mean, Sterling, realistically, I mean, he just needs to learn to shoot more often rather than try and run it in the goal. Um, but not a positive game, not a negative game. I mean, it was rather negative, negative football. Um, but yeah, just a tough one to watch for the most part. And then the penalty gave us hope. It gave us real momentum and uh still six minutes of added time give or take what, what you think of that but we still need to learn to hold on we can't hold on even it's not potter's fault but we did it under tuchel we couldn't hold on sometimes uh, more often than not and it's just infuriating i'm just rambling at this point so i apologize for taking up too much of your time if you have got this far um, but it's, it's a short one today. We're so close for, for a victory where this, this player ratings would have been so different, so very different, but sadly, it's not the case. Chelsea won, Manchester United won, and um, it's just sadly the way the cookie crumbles on this occasion. Casemiro getting man of the match for scoring the equalising goal, and he celebrated like he'd won, you know, he's won everything, but he's there like, yeah, fuck off, what are you doing? I get you've, you've, equal, you've equalised against Chelsea in the Premier League. You're both battling for third place. Calm down. You've won everything there is to win in, in club football. Like, oh, I, I, it's just a strange one. Really strange game. 
Chelsea still in fourth, Manchester United in fifth, Liverpool drop points. It's still not a bad day. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for any future content that is on Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Harry, up the Chelsea, and peace.